What's up everybody? I hope you're doing well. Well, if you didn't catch the memo yet, I am expecting my second child due this June. And I'm planning on taking a four month maternity leave from private practice. Oh, you heard me correctly, four months. Now everyone is different. I'm not prescribing that everyone needs to take four months off, but with my first child, I took a four month maternity leave and that seemed to be just the right amount of time. So I'm gonna repeat that plan again this time around. But I know for so many folks who would like to take a longer maternity leave or paternity leave that's several months or longer, it may not feel accessible because bills gotta get paid. And also, if you didn't notice, babies are expensive. But I assure you, I will still be getting paid during those four months. So in this video, I'm gonna share three three ways that you can still get paid while you're on parental leave. I'm sure there's probably more ways that you could access getting paid while you're on leave, but these are just the three avenues that I'm leveraging while I take four months off because yeah, I still wanna get paid even though I'm not working, who doesn't? So if you'd like to learn about three ways that you can still get paid while you're on leave, then just keep watching this video. Welcome to Private Practice Skills. I'm Dr. Marie Fang, psychologist in private practice. I post videos offering tools I learned the hard way about starting and growing private practice so that you don't have to. So let's hop straight into three different ways that you can still get paid while you're on parental leave. And the first tip is the most straightforward of all of them, and that's just to save for when you go on leave. This is kind of a borrow from Peter to pay Paul type of strategy, but still very useful. And I've applied this one for both maternity leaves, the first and now this second one. Basically, as soon as you find out that you're pregnant or if you've been planning to get pregnant, just start saving money away with the intent that you're going to use that money once you're on leave. So it's not necessarily like a secret way of gaming the system, it's just a a good idea to plan ahead, save some money, and at least cover your overhead costs, but definitely you can save enough in order to, to take a paycheck while you're not working. Now that could mean that in general, your monthly paycheck looks a little bit lower for while you're pregnant and then while you're on leave, but you could also choose if you want to maybe see a few more clients than usual during your pregnancy, that's depending on how easy your pregnancy is, that may not be so easy to access, but it is an option to see extra clients kind of upfront in order to account for the fact that you're not gonna be seeing clients while you're on leave. And that's why this is a borrow from Peter to pay Paul type strategy, because you're not really coming up with money out of nowhere, you're, you're just spreading it out. Now, if you're not interested in taking on extra clients while you're pregnant, but you would really like to still have the same paycheck while you're on leave, then these next two tips might be helpful to you. The first is to see if your state offers any type of disability or paid family leave benefits. I live in the state of California where I qualify for disability benefits starting at 36 weeks pregnant for the final four weeks of pregnancy and also into the first six weeks postpartum. So I qualify for disability benefits for 10 weeks. There's a whole process for applying to that, and it looks different in every single state. Not every state has it, but the way I see it, I've been paying into those disability taxes year after year for all of the years that I've been in private practice, and once I go on maternity leave, it's finally my time to dip into that pool that I've been paying into this whole time. So if you qualify for that, by all means access it. Now, they don't typically pay you your full paycheck amount, it's some fraction of your paycheck, but it can be a pretty significant amount. And even after six weeks, it can be an option to reapply for an extension in the state of California at least. If you wanna learn more about that, you can always start by checking with your OB when you're pregnant. If you do have benefits like that in your state, they usually will tell you about it sometime during your second trimester. Might as well. I must say as a tangent on this topic, I really, really dislike that it's referred to as disability benefits because on what planet does participating and perpetuating the human race count as a disability? Nonetheless, I understand how legally, because you're paying into those disability benefits in your taxes, it needs to be called a disability in order for you to pull from it, but end rant. So as you can see, depending on what state you live in and how you decide to implement these tips, you could potentially take up to 10 weeks of leave or, or even longer without seeing much of an impact on your paycheck. But if you're wanting to take longer than 10 weeks with maternity or family leave, then there's one last tip that I'm utilizing that you might find helpful too. 
and that is passive income. Now, if you've been following my channel for any amount of time, then you've heard me talk about passive income a bit more recently, but if you have access to any forms of passive income, theoretically that passive income should be able to still come in while you're not working. So for me, private practice skills generates actually the majority of my income and it is a passive income stream. So that means the majority of my income will just keep coming in while I'm not working and I really won't see much of an impact on my paycheck even if I took longer than four months off, which is awesome. There's many different ways to go about generating passive income. You don't have to do it by starting an online business. I mean, you know, you could, I don't know, own properties or there's, I'm not familiar with all the ways to be honest, but that is something that does tend to take a little bit longer to build up and might not be something that you can sort of just cobble together when you first find out you're pregnant and have a really reliable and sizable source of passive income by the time you go on leave. However, I started developing private practice skills with the intent that I could be at home more, both while on maternity leave and just in general with small kids at home. And so I started it right when we were planning to grow our family before getting pregnant the first time. And so now it's, you know, two and a half years in, oh my goodness, two and a half years in, and it is generating the majority of my income now. So it can work. And you could potentially develop passive income by running your own group practice, having employees that you know, you're, you're generating profits from as well as a for example. If you're interested in learning more about passive income, I already have a couple of videos talking about how I generate passive income with private practice skills. So I've linked to those in the description box below if you're interested in checking them out. And if you're interested in this topic of maternity leave and private practice in general, in the next few weeks, I'm gonna be posting a second video debriefing how I did maternity leave the first time and kind of following up about what sorts of things I'm gonna do differently this time. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. And thank you to therapynotes.com for sponsoring this video. Therapy Notes covers all of your practice management needs from scheduling to notes to billing and so much more. And they offer a HIPAA secure telehealth platform, which is free for all subscribed users. If you're interested in checking out Therapy Notes, you can get two months to try it for free with no commitment just by clicking the link in the description of this video. Well, I hope you found this video helpful if you're planning on taking parental leave while in private practice. And if you've already done so before, I'd love to hear in the comments how you went about preparing financially so that, you know, so you could pay your bills while you're taking your time away with your family. And until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well. And speaking of leave, for those of you still watching at the end of this video, my video in the coming months might just become way more casual because I'm having a whole lot of pregnancy problems. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to make my setup and filming and editing as easy as possible. So thanks for bearing with me. Catch you later. I don't know what that was.